And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, there's your rain and your storm action around the area right now. You'll notice the little comma head shape, though, to it and the little spin here. If you look closely, this is an MCV. I talk about these a lot in meteorology in the summer months. They're common in the Midwest. They're common in the Plains. You see the spin right here. Think of it as a mini low pressure. And this formed last night, very early this morning, from tremendous storms out in Kansas and Missouri, Nebraska. And uh, we had so much rising air, the air pressure dropped near the ground. We formed a mini low pressure. And that's what spawned all the storms, especially in Illinois today and this evening and it's bringing rainfall and some storms to our area though it's in the process of gradually weakening thankfully all the severe weather has been just west of the state line this evening we've had a lot of damage near Chatsworth Illinois of course you saw the picture from Gilman Illinois earlier but here's the center of that little MCV here of course rain and some storms in this direction it's a little gusty near the center of this little disturbance, so the winds may pick up for a time tonight and gust over 30 miles an hour for a little while. A little light rain lingering in Tippecanoe County, a few more showers and storms coming back up from the southwest. But by and large, all the severe weather that's ongoing is down here south and southeast of our viewing area. This is where the severe storms are, and this is kind of making a right turn to the south. We're in good shape for the night in terms of severe weather. We're getting some welcome rain out of it. This is 2 o'clock in the morning here. Tomorrow, this jets eastward. Maybe a small isolated shower, small isolated storm. That'd be it. Otherwise, just partly cloudy. Same thing on Friday as well. We dry it out, especially Sunday, Monday. That'll be the peak in this really hot weather coming. Before storms come in, uh, late Tuesday, perhaps another round Wednesday and even Thursday, we're going to be right in the path of multiple rounds of storms by the time we get to late Tuesday through Thursday of next week. 88 tomorrow, it's going to feel like 94. Any rainfall isolated, partly cloudy, not much wind around, so a little bit stifling, even though it'll be 85 to 90 degrees rather than, say, well up into the 90s. It's going to feel like about 90 to 97, however. Friday, we're partly cloudy, and after a little patchy fog in the morning, It'll be a lot hotter. I almost do you see that Jordan? I almost dropped my clicker. I think that's ever happened to me in my career before. I almost dropped that thing. 95 the high. The heat index around 102 degrees with nothing more than a small isolated storm later on in the day. 89 to 95 for highs and that heat index rising 95 to 100 and the heat increases especially into the weekend. Nothing more than a small isolated storm on Saturday with a high of 96. And then we peak the heat with 95 to 100 Sunday, Monday. Heat indices well over 100 before more widespread storm action comes in Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week. Okay, Chad Evans.